welcome to oba tv please subscribe and do not forget to click on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our content when we drop them thank you And have you heard from the lawyer, sir? Any update? Yes. The only thing she said was that she has discussed and arranged with the OC so as to commence interrogation with Dina. <sighs> sir, God will take control. Let's just keep praying and also allow the barrister to do her job. Is that okay, sir? Okay. I believe. Thank you so much, Minister Joe. You have been so amazing and have been a supportive strength for me and my family, especially in this trying time. It's nothing, sir. This is our special obligation to one another. The all thanks belongs to God. And uh, he's the only source from which we derive strength. And thanks for not taking less of me too, sir. Hmm, true. Thank you. Daniel Williams. There are three persons you should never lie to. One, God. He is the creator. He knows everything. All things. Two, the doctor. Because he is the one to treat you. And three, your lawyer. Because he is your defendant. So, for this to work, I will be needing your full cooperation. Is that okay? It happened that I ran out of cash, stove, food, and school. I tried to reach out to my parents. What's not happening? They were not picking. And since I was starving, I decided to travel down. Hoping I'll return the next day. If I could make it home, I'm very sure my need will be sorted. Of course, I'll surely handle that myself. Luckily, I was able to get a boat, move down to Akure in the new state. So I traveled in the evening. I met my dad's car, looking dead young world. Then I concluded he wasn't around. Of course, if my dad is around, the car will show up in it. And mom, she will not have it away. And so, I knew they were put out on mission field again. I got to the door. It wasn't blood. Very strange and surprised. I saw a male pumps slippers 
strange, very strange. I felt so uneasy. A kind of, you know, strange feeling. And then I got inside to see the unimaginable. I got in, saw my sister on bed, unconscious, looking at the guy, unzipping his trouser, trying to do something stupid. I was shocked and ah, I could not imagine something like that. I recovered from my shock. I tried to move towards this guy just to try to do something just to stop him. He was also ready for me. Something happened and then he escaped. I woke up and I found myself lying on the floor. I passed out. I felt so bad and at the same time thankful because if I had not come at that time, he was about to commit such grave and heinous crime. My sister was fast asleep. She was not making any move. Definitely. He must have dropped her. I stayed back three days to look after my sister. Once our parents were back, they came back two days after, and then next day I traveled back to school. Did you inform anyone? Your parents? Your sister? No. Why? I didn't know. Maybe I felt since the guy did not have his way, I didn't just say it to anyone. Okay. That's okay. So, when you got back to school, where did you go? Mm -hmm. When I got back, when I got back, when I got back, I went to King's place. Hold on a second. Who is King and why did you go there? Well, he's one of the guys here. We are classmates and I went to jail to see what I've missed in class. Now, first place of call, King's place. Was there no other friends or classmates you likewise have reached out to? Mm, not really. And it was a bit late. And I didn't want to disturb anyone. Besides, I've been calling him. He wasn't taking his calls. Later, it was sweet off, so I wanted to, to check up on him. So, where were you arrested? At the spot. Since I didn't meet the king at home, I decided to check there. Possibly he could be there. 7.15 p.m., quite late. And at the same time, they had usually met at their hideouts. No, no. I did not know about that. I didn't even check the time. It must be a coincidence. A coincidence? Okay. Let's talk about the gun, axe, knife, and cordial found in your room. I don't I don't just know. I don't just know. I don't I don't I don't have any. I want to use them. So why should I keep them? You know it. It's somehow. Somehow what? That's your personal room. No one shares with you and no one has your key. So how did they get there? I, I don't know. I don't I don't know before I travel. I mean it was never there. Okay, okay. 15th March. You were seen with a guy named Stark plus another guy. Likewise, on the 16th, according to police reports that I have here with me. Yes, yes, yes. 17th March was the day of the attack. Some 30 minutes after, 
you were nowhere to be found. I told you, I told you. I traveled. It must have been a coincidence. Hmm. Another coincidence? 20th March, you were back. You went looking for King at his house and at their hideout where you were arrested. Some 35 minutes later, gun plus sister weapon were recovered from your private room. <coughs> Daniel Williams, tell me more. Tell me what it is, please. That is how I could help you. Hmm? Tell me everything. Tell me now. God, I told you. That's everything I know. <coughs> Daniel, you are really making this difficult. I mean, I mean, these stories don't hang up. They only reveal that you have connection with what happened. Look, I need you to tell me everything now. There's everything. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. <laughs> innocent, you say? Well, if that's everything, then I doubt if you are truly innocent. That will be all for now. Please, please. I'm innocent. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. I just rounded off the interrogation section with the boy. I, I doubt the boy's innocence. I think so, sir. I will soon be on my way now, sir. Yes, sir. Tomorrow, sir. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. He knows everything. Others has confessed that he is a member of that gang. In fact, a principal member of that gang. He did? Yes! Our investigations prove that beyond any doubt. Then why is he not admitting? I wonder. You see, Barista, you are a good person. Your record have proven over time that you are good at your profession. Now, let me advise. Don't allow anyone to drag your reputation to mode. The boy is not talking, and with all the facts, figures, and evidences against him, he still denies his involvement. All those evidences are glaringly incriminating. I'm sorry. It's a blind and lame endeavor. It's a lost case already. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Jesus. With men, these things are impossible. Yes. But with God, all things are possible yes. to them that believe. Yes. Yes. You're welcome. So I'll be traveling. Oh. I, I, what did you say? Yes, I'll be traveling to my master. 